I am going to solve the problem 1 from chapter 16 waves 1 from principle of physics 10th edition. A stretched string has a mass per unit length of 5 gram per centimeter and a tension of 10 Newton. So you have a string and its linear density value is given which is mass per unit length and the tension applied on the string is mentioned here as 10 Newton. So let's me write what is given in the first two lines. So what is given? The linear density mu is given which is 5 gram per centimeter. So we have to convert it to kilogram over meter. So 5 multiplied by gram to kilogram it is 10 to the power of minus 3 and centimeter to meter which is 10 power minus 2. So we can cancel. So the linear density value of mu is 5 multiplied by 10 power minus 1 and unit is kilogram over meter. Correct? Okay. A sinusoidal wave on the string has an amplitude of 0 0.16 millimeter. So that means the wave exactly appear on the string. That means we are producing the waves on the string and its amplitude. What is its amplitude? The amplitude should be mentioned by the letter Y suffix M, which is 0 0.16 millimeter. So I have to convert this to meter. So 0 0.16 multiplied by 10 power minus 3 meter. Clear? and a frequency of 100 hertz so it's a frequency linear frequency is mentioned as 100 hertz and it is traveling in the negative direction of the x-axis actually we need this uh, information for giving the answer for the fourth part okay so i will explain later so the wave is exactly traveling in the negative direction of the x-axis if the wave function if the wave equation is in the form of so the wave equation they mentioned here y of x comma t which is equal to y of m sine of kx minus omega t clear actually this is our wave equation so you have to actually they mention here plus or minus you can put plus you can put minus but you have to give the proper sign based on the information which is given in the questions so i told you before we have to answer the fourth question from this line okay so when we come to the fourth question i will explain the concept of the sign clear okay so here we are going to find the answer for four subdivision in the first subdivisions we are going to find the answer for the amplitude which is amplitude we are going to find and second one we are going to find k what is k k is a angular wave number right so in the second part we are going to find the value of k and the third part we are going to find the angular frequency omega and the fourth question we are going to get the answer based on the sign so which sign which is exactly we are going to make in this equation that is our fourth part so i don't want to mention here right now so first of all we will finish one by one clear okay first question wave uh, sorry amplitude so amplitude we already mentioned in the question what is the amplitude so the answer for the first question which is already given in the question okay before we go to the answer let's we see what is given in this equation actually this is the position of the wave and here ym stands for amplitude and here k is the angular wave number and here omega is the angular frequency clear understand so now we are going to find the answer one by one. So amplitude, which is already given in the question as 16, 0 0.16 millimeter. So the first question, you have to identify what is the amplitude. So answer for the first question is very easy. The amplitude, which is already mentioned, what's the amplitude? The amplitude, the amplitude value, which is Y of M, which is equal to 0 0.16 millimeter. So I have to give the answer in terms of meter 0 0.16 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 3 meter. So this is the answer for the first question. Clear? Okay. The second question, we are going to find the angular wave number. So in the theory, we studied the formula for the angular wave number. What is the formula? K, which is equal to 2 pi over lambda. So this is the rule. So now the most important thing, we have the wave equation but 
there is no information about the lambda right so we are going to get the value of the lambda once you identified what is the wavelength then only you can easily find the answer for the angular wave number so what i am going to do i am going to use the equations what we studied in the theory the general equation for the speed so what is the formula for the speed speed which is equal to frequency multiplied by lambda right okay now i am going to rearrange this equation in terms of lambda therefore lambda which is equal to v over f which is speed over frequency so here what is the speed if the waves exactly traveling on the string it has the formula v which is equal to square root of t over mu right we studied this rule am i right so what i am going to do i am going to take this rule i am going to substitute here so what will happen lambda which is equal to square root of t over mu over frequency clear now i am going to take this i am going to substitute this lambda here so by that we can easily find the answer for the wave number clear so i am going to substitute the value of lambda here therefore my equation for the wave number angular wave number which will be changed as 2 pi over in place of lambda i am going to substitute this value which is t over mu over frequency so what will happen this frequency will go to the top right am i right okay so what will happen this equations you can rewrite as 2 pi multiplied by f over t over mu right so you will get t over mu and this t over mu again you can when you just move to the numerator you have to write this as k which is equal to 2 pi f multiplied by square root of mu over t right am i right okay now we have all the values and we already mentioned what is given in the question so let's we see the given one more time the linear density value is given frequency linear frequency value is given right so i'm going to use this value for finding the answer for the angular wave number so i'm going to simply substitute the value here so oh, 2 multiplied by pi and our linear frequency is 100 multiplied by square root of our linear density which is 5 multiplied by 10 power minus 1 and the tensions we substitute we apply on the string is exactly 10 newton so i am going to find what should be the answer for the angular wave number just a minute i will calculate so 2 multiplied by pi multiplied by 100 multiplied by square root of 5 10 power minus 1 over 10 so i got the answer as 140.49 clear so i have in the unit it is one over meter clear so this is the answer for the second part clear okay now in the third part we are going to find the angular sorry linear angular frequency omega right so the third part we are going to find the answer for the omega which is 2 pi multiplied by frequency so all the values are actually we have the value for the linear frequency so 2 multiplied by pi multiplied by the linear frequency they give in the question as 100 hertz so 2 multiplied by pi multiplied by 100 i got the answer as 628.31 6 28.31 and the unit is rad per second so this is the answer for the third part okay now we have to go for our fourth part which is our theoretical question so please read the question very carefully what is the what they mentioned here in the question they mentioned this wave is traveling in the negative direction of an x-axis so if the wave is traveling in the negative direction of the x-axis which sign is exactly applicable for this whenever the wave is traveling in the negative direction you have to put positive if the wave is traveling in the positive directions you have to put negative sign clear so they clearly mentioned here the wave is traveling in the negative direction of the x-axis so which sign is exactly good for this equation positive sign so i have to write the answer for the fourth question which is wave equations better i can write the wave equation y of x comma t which is given by the rule amplitude 
multiply by I think sine right so I have to see the question uh, sine sine of kx minus omega t so y of m multiply by sine of kx minus omega t and what is our amplitude better I can substitute the value here so what is our amplitude so 0 0.16 multiply by 10 power minus 3 amplitude right sine of which is better I can put sine the unit and the k value what is our k value we got 140.49 x minus our angular frequency 6 so which is sine because the wave is traveling in the negative direction so I have to put positive right so the sign here is positive because the wave traveling in negative direction of x so if the wave is traveling in the negative direction of the x here the sign should be positive right so please keep this information in your mind okay so and the omega value 628.31 rad per second multiplied by t so this is the answer for the last question clear that's it thank you